this video, let's learn how to create a responsive project using the fluid boxes in Captivate 2017. To create a new responsive project, double click responsive project on the welcome screen. Now let's go to the properties inspector and change the master slide to blank master slide. Now is the time to add fluid boxes to your course. We'll add three fluid boxes on this screen. One for the title, the second for the content and the third for the bottom bar. Let's add a fluid box by clicking fluid box and selecting vertical. Here I will select three vertical fluid boxes. Drag this handle to reduce the size of the first fluid box. Let's do the same for the third fluid box so that we have enough room for the screen content. Now let's add a background image to the main fluid box. Now let's go to the options tab and change solid to image fill. Now open the fill drop down, click the browse icon and click import and then navigate to the folder where you have saved the image and click open. The background image is now added to the main fluid box. Let's preview how this background image looks like. So I'll click this responsive slider and I'll move the slider to see how it looks on the different device sizes. I can also preview it by opening this drop down and selecting the devices listed here. Let's go back to the desktop preview. And now let's start designing the top bar and the bottom bar. For the top bar, I'll just make a selection and I'll change the fill to a shade from this image and I'll change the opacity to 60%. Now it's time to add some text. So I'll click text and select text caption. I'll copy the title text from my text document and paste it here. Now it's time to beautify this text. For that, select the text and then you can use one of the Typekit fonts that you can sync with your Creative Cloud account and add to your course. I've already synced some of the fonts which I can find at the top of the list. I'll select one of the fonts here and then make some formatting changes. Now let's design the bottom bar. For that, I'll create two buttons for back and next. Now drag and drop it in the third fluid box. Let's drop the back button as well. You can notice that both the buttons are sitting next to each other. Let's move the placement so that the back is this side and the next is this side. Now we need to select this fluid box Go to the style and instead of wrap to next row, we will select squeeze in a row and for the horizontal alignment, we will select space in between. Now, let's add some padding as well. I'll add a padding of 50 pixels for horizontal and 50 pixels for the vertical layout. The bottom bar is looking a little bland, so let's add some design element here. I'll select this fluid box, go to the options tab, change the solid fill to image fill and then Select an image from my folder and click OK. Now I'll change the opacity from 100% to 50%. The bottom bar is now ready. Let's preview it and see if it's working fine. It looks good here. And now let's add the main content for the screen. For that, I will select the second fluid box, go to the fluid box and add two horizontal fluid boxes for this section. We'll use one for the text and the other for the image. Here again, I can move the slider to adjust how much space I have to provide for the image and for the text. I'll place it here and then in this section, I need to add some text. For that, go to text and select text caption. I'll go to my text document and copy the text from there. Now I'll paste it here and let me make it a little big. The text is now added. I just need to make it left aligned and then I'll position it in the left fluid box. Let's add some padding for this fluid box as well. I'll select the fluid box, go to the style and change the horizontal padding to 20 pixels and vertical padding to 20 pixels. Also, let's add some background for this text so that it's easy to read. So I'll go to the options tab and I'll change the fill to solid color and change the color to a little lighter shade. We can change the opacity as well to 60%. Now it's time to add the coach image. So we'll select this fluid box, go to media and characters and then 
select the character image you would like to place in this box. We just need to make a few more adjustments here and our slide will be ready. Here we want it to be vertically aligned as bottom align and we should be good to go. Let's go ahead and preview this. I'll click preview project. Notice how the content rearranges itself based on the screen size.